Okay, I think that's Bill Ma coming in here. Just got out, ready to do my thing. I got the huge one. <laughs> How you doing, sir? Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Just went inside and started uploading my video when I was on my way here, so uh -huh. I got that working on. If you want to come in for a minute and cool off. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, okay. okay. That was right up. Very nice. It was the shortest ride I've had so far. I haven't had a ride as short as 150 miles. Right. That was nice and relaxing. <laughs> Hopefully I'll have another one that's a short one and a nice one too to Fort Dodge tomorrow. There we go. Have my expensive here's, stuff. Here's the build machine. I see you're using the standard V570 like everybody else too. Yes, yeah, sir. I got it on eBay for yeah for a steal, but it's it's on its last legs, I think. It's, That's why I left mine at home. It's like it, acting real funky on me. It sometimes records for eight minutes. Sometimes it'll record <laughs> for as long. It just kind of does what it feels like doing as it feels like doing right. it. So uh, my uh, the quality of mine's been like slowly deteriorating, and I don't know if it's in my head. Yeah. Or. Or if it actually is just getting more and more grainy. Yeah, especially towards the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, that's where you'll first start to lose it because I noticed too, that's where you'll notice it because the compression's hard to keep up with because that's where the ground moves the fastest. Ah, that makes so sense. if the bottom starts to look bad, it's... The other thing about mine is the sound was never, it was mediocre, but it was never right. good. Whereas this cyber shot, the sound's always been excellent, so. What model is that? That's a T200. My son-in-law got it for me. I don't but think I've ever even heard of that guy. The newer one's the T90, though, that's high def, that's even okay. better. I also brought my high def, too. I got a high def, but not a Sony. It's a Avato HD here. I'll show it to you. That's the one when I was at Deals Gap. Uh, the guys wanted some pictures of high-speed passes with their bikes where they really leaned over. Mm -hmm. So I told them, okay, I'll go out there and take them with the Avato. And, uh, Lark Zero actually scraped his kickstand. You can hear it as he goes around here, like, ching! <laughs> and as a matter of fact, I got my uh, badge of honor from Deals Gap here. I'll show you around. See how that's round there? Oh, yeah. It isn't round on the other side. Right. Come and take a look. You say, why don't you get a sticker? I said, I don't even know a stinking sticker. <laughs> Check this out. I dug it in. I leaned that baby over. I took about a sixteenth of an inch of material off of that. Here, I'll do a close-up of it, see if you can see it there. So I leaned that baby over for about three seconds. It just made kind of like a sound, though. It didn't make a... But, hey, I did it. For a cruiser, that's pretty good, I'd say. My, uh, my ex and I rented a Goldwing a couple years ago, and I took it through the Rockies. Yeah. Up in, and she was getting so mad at me because I was just, I was having a good time with that thing. I was just dragging oh, it. leaning that puppy over? Yeah, I was dragging it. She's like, what are you doing? Uh, what are you doing? Okay, so I'm going to cut it right here because we're going to go inside and I'm going to finish my upload. And then we're going to go out riding and maybe have some supper.